Okay, so you've taken the pop quiz, so let's discuss your answers. Now, keep in mind, please, keep in mind that sometimes I argue with you when you are right. Do you remember that? Sometimes I will argue with you if you are right, so see if you know if you're right or not. Sometimes I argue with you when you are wrong. Okay? So look at number one. Is that true? Can you cancel the X's? I'm not saying anything. I'm letting you guys talk. You're doing a good job. Look at number two. Can you cancel the X's? Okay, what do you think about three? Can you cancel the twos? And four, because you can answer, you can cancel the X's. I'm so confused. You guys are confusing me so much. Because you said in number one, you can cancel those X's, right? And you're telling me in number four, you can't cancel those X's. What are they doing here? Whoa, 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 whoa! These X's are dividing right here. But if you multiply straight across and get 24x and multiply straight across and get 5x, those x's aren't. I haven't told you any of the answers yet. So one of the easiest ways for people, some people, is to actually think about a number for x. Put in a 2. What's 5 times 2? What's 10 divided by 2? Does it work? Every time? What about 3? 5 times 3? Does anybody know what 5 times 3 is? Divided by 3? Hmm. 10? What's 5 times 10? Divided by 10? Hmm. What do you think? Make a commitment one way or the other. True. It is true. Okay? So look at number two. What did you tell me before? You said you can, right? So put in a number. What's five plus two? Seven, Seven divided by two is five. You said it was. Okay, what about three? So, I'm sorry, can you do number two? Is that true or false? False, okay. Number three I have a problem with inherently because you guys told me that I can just ignore those and get the same exact thing. That's what you told me a minute ago. Inherently, if you had, because you're telling me it's just one, right? It's negative one. If you could do that, that would still be negative one, and that would somehow have to change a value over here, wouldn't it? But it didn't. Hmm. Can you cancel out the twos? No. And what about number four? Did I make you think about number four a minute ago? Okay, so what did you think about? If you multiplied straight across, wait, when we're multiplying fractions, do we multiply straight across? Yes, we do. So if we multiply straight across, we get 24x and we get 5x. Can I cancel out those x's? Can I cancel out those x's? Yes. So I need you to tell me the major difference in problems one and four compared to problems two and three. So two and three are the X's or whatever you're trying to cancel out are being added or subtracted. What's happening in one and four? They're being multiplied. Hmm. I wonder if that's something important to know. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it is. 
Okay? We'll come back to it in a minute. Look at 5 through 8. So 5, you can go straight across and the x's cancel. So look at 6 because you can add straight across. And number 7 because you only add the denominators. Uh, let me ask you a question. In order to add fractions, what must you have? Okay, by definition, if you have fractions, you have a numerator and a denominator. So you don't have to have a denominator. What do you have to have? A common denominator. Can you add straight across in this problem? Not without a common denominator. What do you think 5 is? False. If 5 is false, then 6 is false also because you cannot just add without a common denominator. Okay? What about 7? Can you add straight across? Why can you add straight across on 7? There is a common denominator. Okay? 8, we have to talk about. We'll talk about 8. Let's go back and talk about 1 through 4 real quick. I have to show you something ridiculous. I know it's ridiculous. I'm telling you ahead of time it's ridiculous. Okay? You told me when we first started that you could cancel on the x's on 2, right? You told me that. You remember that? If I can cancel out the x's on that problem, I can also simplify this fraction by canceling that out. And I get an answer of this. That's ridiculous, isn't it? I told you it was. That doesn't make any sense. Guys, it's the same kind of thinking if you're canceling things that are being added or subtracted. The only things you can cancel are what? Factors. Things that are being multiplied. Are we good with that? We're going to say it about 50 more times, so I need you to be good with it. Okay? Only multiply things that are being multiplied or factors are, are things that you can cancel. Okay? Let's talk about number eight. Would somebody get the door, please? It's a little loud out there. When graphed, both of these have the same asymptotes. This is our first encounter with the word asymptotes. So we need to have a discussion about the word asymptotes. We have to have some ground rules about the word asymptotes. Okay? And I like saying the word asymptotes because it makes you giggle. All right? Number one, number one, we are not going to unnecessarily stress the first syllable of the word asymptote. Okay? Number two, we're not going to abbreviate the word asymptote because even if we did, it would be ASY and not what you want it to be. Okay? And the last thing is that we're not going to walk down the hall telling each other we're going to kick each other in the asymptote. Because <laughs> if we do, some teacher that doesn't know what an asymptote is is going to send you to the office. And the principal is going to say to you, what did you say? I only said asymptote. Mrs. Kingston taught me. And then I will get called to the office. And I will get called to the principal's office and he'll say, were you teaching the students new vocabulary? Yes, I was. What did you teach them? Asymptote. <laughs> and they'll say, what does it mean? And I'll say, nothing. It's not real. Because that's true. An asymptote is not real. An asymptote is something we made up, humans made up, to help us talk about places that graphs cannot live. Okay? I'll just give you a short synopsis really quick so that you can understand a little bit more of what I'm talking about. When we have a fraction, when we have a fraction, are we ever allowed to have a denominator of zero? No, we can't, can we? Okay? Only one person I know can divide by zero. Who is that? Chuck Norris. He's not in this class. Okay? So we don't, we don't need to talk about that. But what I'm saying is, if we have some sort of fraction, 
and we end up with a zero in the denominator, whatever that fraction came from, maybe it was x plus 5 over x minus 3, wherever that came from and I ended up with a zero in my denominator, my graph cannot live there. And so we as humans have decided there is an asymptote at that point. We can know the behavior of the graph around that asymptote. We know the graph is not there. It's nothing. Okay? So please, please don't walk down the hall and t tell somebody else you're going to kick their asymptote. Because you'll get sent to the office and so will I and I will not be happy this time either. Not that it's ever happened before. Okay? Now, I'm not going to tell you the answer to 8 because we're going to, that's going to be something we're going to discover over the next couple days. Okay? Go ahead and put this away for now. So this is why you have a partner right now. Okay? This is why you have a partner. We're going to complete this worksheet. We're going to complete this worksheet together. Okay? When you get your worksheet, everybody find page one. And you can tell it's page one because it says page one. Now, honestly, on this, this one, it's a little bit more hard to tell because um, there's not any numbers. The, the problems are not numbered. Okay, so I want to make sure that you are on page one. Is everybody on page one? Hopefully, you're there yet. Is everybody on page one? Sarah and Brooke, I would like, on page one, I would like you guys to do these three problems. The very first problem, top row. Okay, page one, top row. Got it? Corey and Kaylee, would you guys, on page one, do the second row? Reggie and Harmony, would you guys do the third row? Paige and Kelsey, would you do the fourth row? Okay, turn it over. Now we're on page two. For real, for real. Tristan and Jasa, would you guys do the top row on page two? Dalton and Linda, would you guys do the second row on page two? Kendra and Haley, would you do the third row on page two? And I'm going to do the fourth row on page two. Okay? Now, what do I mean by do the row? What do I mean? How are you? No, I don't think so. I don't think that's a fire drill because they normally stop. I think the bell's just stuck. This is going to be fun. Look out the door and see what's happening. Not everybody. Not everybody. No. Okay. It, it is going to be the best video ever, isn't it? Okay, what are we doing with these equations? You're putting them into... Shh, listen, please. Listen, please. You go to a graph. Go to a graph. Okay. Go to a graph. Insert this as an equation. And look at the table. And fill it in. That's all I'm asking you to do. Fair enough? Okay, you got three minutes. Three minutes. On your mark, get set, go. Three minutes. Uh, can I show you something really quickly that will make your life immeasurably um, easier? Okay. The first equation that I have to put in for the problem that I'm doing is this. Okay. So when I'm in f of 1, when I'm on my graph screen in my, in my equation line, I'm the very first thing I'm going to push is control division sign. Look what put it in there for me. 
okay guys in this in this lesson in this unit you're really 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 going to want to do that otherwise you have to mess with a bunch of parentheses and it can get messy messy and then really physically this looks like the problem I'm putting in does that make sense does that make sense to everyone You guys almost done? Which one are you doing? What's wrong with that? Yeah, absolutely. Now go to your table and look at it. Okay? Okay, are you guys almost done? Is anyone done? Paige, bring me your paper. Paige and Kelsey did the bottom of the first page. Okay, so please copy their tables onto your um, row, your fourth row on the first page. Is that just seven? Okay. Negative point three? Just point three. Yeah. Repeating. Awesome. And that one's negative point three. Okay. Perfect. Does everybody have it? Everybody have it? Kaylee, are you done? Let me have your paper, please. Thank you very much. Okay, we're copying the second row on the first page. Copy the second row on the first page. You're weird. <laughs> Kelsey, I just called you weird and I forgot I was recording the lesson. <laughs> it's point three repeating. Is that what that is? Okay. We good? Everybody have it? 
JC, you have yours? May I have it, please? Gracias. First row on the back. First row on the back. Is that just point three or is it point three repeating? Repeating, thank you. Here? I believe so, yes. Everybody have this? Okay, whose don't we have yet? Linda, can I have yours, please? Jason, thank you very much. Second one on the back. Is anyone else saying, hmm, I hear some of you. Okay, are you guys playing a joke on me? Like, everyone's like, okay, these are the answers that we're going to get for all of this. Yeah. You, you are? You're playing a joke? Okay, good. Got it? So who has the third on the back? We have it. Please. I mean, now. Just teasing. <laughs> third on the back. Now, seriously, are you playing a joke on me? You would never play a joke on me? Yeah, lightning's totally going to strike you for lying. Nice, Sarah. Nice. Okay, so what is happening here? What do you mean they're all the same? All the things. Can you use less pronouns and more descriptive words? All of the equations equal the same thing? I'm just repeating what you said. Oh, so all the columns are the same. But they don't look the same to me. Do these look the same to you? Visually, do they look the same to you? No. The tables look exactly the same, though, don't they? What does that mean? Their values are equal? Okay, I'll take that. Anybody else have anything that they want to say about what it means? If these two tables are exactly the same, what does it mean about these two equations? They're equal, right? The values are equal that you get in the table, so these equations are equal, aren't they? Visually, they do not look the same, but we will discuss tomorrow why they are. Okay? So, do I need to keep calling people up and filling parts of the table in? Does it work on the front? So, let's fill in the front then. Go fill in the front. And fill in that last one also. Okay? Fill in that last one also. Please remember, uh, up until Sunday night at midnight, I will take your Olympic observations. 
I do have names of people on the board and how many credits they've earned for these so far. Um, so if your name is on the board yet with a number beside you, um, or beside your name, not beside you, uh, get it up there, get it done. Okay. Remember those are points on your test. Remember that.